And finally tonight, a group representing nearly 100 Catholic women's organizations from around the world recently met with Vatican officials. The World Union of Catholic Women's Organizations aims to give visibility to women, especially the most vulnerable. Its international conference in Rome was focused on the impact of the coronavirus pandemic and included a talk from Cardinal Mark Ouellet. The World Union was founded back in 1910 and is based in Rome. Joining us now from Rome is Monica Santa Marina, Treasurer General for the World Union of Catholic Women's Organizations. Monica, great to be with you. Thank you for your time. Um, if you don't mind, can you tell us more about your organization yes. and especially the work that it does in Latin America and Africa? Okay, we're in, an international public association of the faithful. We have, a, 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 we gather around uh, near 100 organizations around the world. Uh, throughout the, we are divided in five regions, Latin America and the Caribbean, Africa, uh, Asia Pacific, uh, Europe, and North America. Uh, we've been more than a hundred. We have more than a hundred years of work, and really our aim is to promote the presence, participation, and uh, uh, co-responsibility of Catholic women uh, around the world, in in order to help them fulfill their responsibilities in the evangelization and human development of. Uh, society and church. I understand uh, today that you presented a report on the impact of COVID-19 on women in Latin America and the Caribbean. Uh, if you don't mind, can you talk about that? We've known that the principal effect of COVID-19 in women was that uh, the holistic effect was that the big, uh, the big difference there were uh, economic, social, uh, structural differences between men and women grew more, uh, the in, uh, inequalities grew much more uh, than they were before the pandemic. Now we have uh, more violence against women, now we have more feminization of poverty, now we have uh, uh, less opportunities of being, going to the health uh, services. Uh, now the, the difference between uh, the opportunities of education and uh, uh, Home office, for example, for women that uh, are uh, that are not techni technically prepared, are have deepened. So that is what really worries. So there are many many issues, many inequalities that have grown. They existed, but now they are worse. Wonderful. And, and Monica, before I let you go, um, I know you yeah. recently met with Pope Francis. Uh, tell us about that and what the Holy Father shared with you. It was a great gathering. He was, we were very glad to see that he was in a very good mood. He was even, you know, making jokes. He, uh, he told us, of course, that we needed, he, he made us, gave us a lot of examples of women that are now in high uh, places in the Vatican and that are, you know, developing a lot of functions, how the, the church is being open to all the women. Uh, he he asked us to be courageous, to to work more. Uh, he was very happy to know about this observatory. He encouraged us to go on, and he spoke also a lot a lot about the the uh, the Petrine line and the Marian line of the difference between men and women in church, how they are co-responsible, how they, they have of course the same rights but different missions. And she's, he spoke a lot about those different missions. Uh, bo both the same importance, he, as he said, the church is women, as feminine, and so both missions are very important, and we need to collaborate. Yeah. Monica, thank you so much for speaking to us about all of this and for what you do. Monica Santa Marina, Treasurer General at the World Union of Catholic Women's Organizations. Thank you again.